So we're going to look at this one here real quick too. Now we're going to switch back to voltage. And go ahead and take a look in here. You can see our fuses. <clears throat> if you guys want to kind of crowd up around here so that you can see what the meter is going to read. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check the uh, battery again real quick. Is the headlight on? Mm -mm. Oh, it's there you go. Whoa, that one definitely jumped. Anyway. Just turn that uh, headlight on, really jumped that down, didn't yeah, it? it? So did. now what we'll do, I'll hold this, and we're going to go ahead and just, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to switch. You're gonna test for powers. Where's our alligator? I'll just hold this. I'll hold this here. It's no problem. We'll just move forward. I'll hold it. Okay. So now he's gonna go and test the different sides of the fuses and see what type of voltages we have. Ooh, quite a drop, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Think that's a problem? It's almost full amp. Just keep going. Volt. Or volt, yeah. And real quickly, go back to the battery. Okay. I think it'll stabilize about 12.05 or 6 or something like that. Now go back to that fuse again. So how big a drop is it actually? Point 0.5. Point 0.40. About half a volt. Okay, not good. We want to clean those connections. We messed it. Just go uh, across the rest there and see what we get. <clears throat> Same thing. Okay, keep going. Okay, keep going. And I believe this one you said you're struggling with getting a reading on. 12.0. I believe this is the main one. Okay, so we have battery voltage at this fuse. Go ahead and go across to the other side. Okay, we got battery voltage across that key on or off? Uh, Is it yeah. turned? Yeah. Okay, the key's on right now. Chris, go ahead and put, go back across the fuse there. And then the other Chris, turn the key off to the center position. Okay, turn it on. Did you go the right way? I went, yeah, I turned it to 12 okay, volts. Yep, we got it again. Really just taking a while to stabilize. Now, uh, this Chris go across this side of the fuses. I'm not getting anything. Okay, just switch to another fuse. <coughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, go back to that first one. Or the set, the first, not main fuse, yeah, the first fuse. We don't know what the fuses are protecting right now. We don't know if it's headlights, taillights, or, or what we have going on. So would you agree that it appears that that fuse is not working? Yeah. So what would you do? Replace the fuse, check it first. What if we just switched them real quick? Those are very interesting pieces. Yeah, these are, Dirk was telling me BMW used these too. Let's me hold that. Mm -hmm. This is the one we think is bad. Now retest it. We need the other one on the thing. Okay, so is it the fuse or is it the fuse block? It's a block. It's really looking like that, right? So no. let's do this. Let's test the fuse. We're going to switch to ohms. I'll hold the meter for you. I'll give you your lead. Okay, so we're going to go to ohms and test on each side of that. He's trying really hard not to touch the fuse. Out of limit. Oh, wait. 
Yeah. Gets a good enough connection, it's this fuse is good. It's kind of hard the way we're holding it. So what that tells us is there's a problem with the motorcycle, not the fuse. But you know, what I like to do is always just you know double check things. So here's that other fuse that we know allowed voltage to go through it. We're kind of shaking and making it difficult here, but we got it to work. So this fuse is, is the one that originally we said was good here. So check this out. So I'm gonna put this one back in here. Key switch is still on. Yep. Switch it back to volts, and let's prove that this fuse is good by testing voltage across there again. Key still on? Yep. <coughs> A little drop, but go across. So the fuse itself is good. There's something wrong with the harness or the block or something here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's a really quick way to make a couple of tests for ground verification. Um, you have to see in another video. Uh, what do you think we're going to do to fix this? Go through and check our connections. Check the ground. What we'll probably have to do is take this fuse block out, you can turn the key off, take this fuse block off and literally just try to clean these connections first. A lot of times they were so dirty on the top or on the, the top side here that I, I actually got it up to that half a volt to a volt drop simply just by cleaning the top side. But if they were that dirty on the top side, what do you bet on the bottom? Probably pretty bad. Okay, so that resistance we said increases heat. Uh, reduces the voltage so like even my ignition system right now is it getting the full potential no not at all the lights aren't getting the potential or anything else so that's a real good uh, uh, video to start off on how to do a ground verification and then some uh, real quick checks at the fuses cool